So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, we get to the next segment of the night where we see Wade Barrett and Joe Tessator, uh, you know, introducing Bret the Hitman Hart. So yeah, Bret Hart comes out there uh, because, you know, they are in Canada tonight. So that's why Bret Hart is there. But, you know, he started talking about how much, you know, that, you know, that Canada means to him and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what he was talking about there. But then all of a sudden, he gets interrupted by the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther. And Gunther comes out there, and Gunther was talking about how Bret Hart is a hero in Canada and all that stuff. And he was talking about how much of a great hero Bret Hart is. And, you know, he says that he watched Bret Hart growing up just like everybody else. And Bret Hart was a hero to people in Canada and everybody else. But he says that, you know, who's his favorite hero, who's his uh, hero is? in wrestling and you know Bret Hart's looking at him and he says Bill Goldberg so yeah uh Gunther just trolling Bret Hart right there which is pretty funny and then you know that's what he was saying there but then Gunther gets interrupted by Sami Zayn Sami Zayn comes out there and he pretty much tells Gunther to stop disrespecting Bret Hart because he is a Canadian hero and all that so yeah that's what Sami Zayn was telling Gunther and Gunther starts talking crap to Sami Tell me how Sammy ain't gonna be nothing like Bret Hart or anything like that. And then Sami Zayn was like, well, how about Gunther versus Sami Zayn part two? Let's have the world title on the line then. And Gunther pretty much looks at Sami Zayn and he tells him no. Well, Gunther walks out the ring and then Bret Hart was talking about how Gunther's scared and everything. And that he's scared that he's gonna lose that world title to Sami Zayn just like how he lost other titles. So yeah, that's what uh, Bret Hart was saying there. And then Gunther gets pissed off, and he's about to walk back into the ring, but then Sami Zayn gets out of the ring, and he gets face-to-face with Gunther. But then Gunther gets pissed off, and he tries to hit Sami, but Sami Zayn starts brawling with him, and both guys are brawling and everything, up until a bunch of referees and stuff have to pull him apart. So yeah, that's what happened there. Sami Zayn gets back into the ring where Bret Hart's at, and then Gunther walks away. But yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good segment. Um, but then after that, we see... Pete Dunn, uh, you know, getting ready for his match tonight, and then the Intercontinental Champion, Braun Breaker, comes up talking about, well, try and call him Butch and stuff, and then Pete Dunn was like, look, don't call me about that, and then Pete Dunn says that he's going to win the Fatal 4-Way match tonight, and that he's going to go to NXT and beat Trick Williams, going after the NXT Championship, and he says that he's going to win the NXT Championship and win the Intercontinental Championship, so yeah, that's what uh, Pete Dunn was talking about there. And Braun Breaker was talking about that's not even going to happen at all. And yeah, that's what's going on there. Breaker walks away. And then Sheamus comes up, attacking Pete Dunne, hitting him in the knee with the face. He grabs a shillelagh, tries to take Pete Dunne's head off. But then Pete Dunne quickly ran off. And uh, Butch referees is keeping Sheamus back. But yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. I'll see you guys later. Till then, up next, it'll be Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio 101. See you guys later. Till then.